certainly a big mine over there. At some point, this must have been quite the setup. the first junction after the main trailhead we are going to take the lake and trail to the left and that should bring us to the foot of the north of Possum Mountain it must be the year of the mushroom that is unbelievable as well, if I do say so myself. That one is huge. Even in mid-August, old man frost is already coming out the bottom of the valleys. And that's the only bit of willows you should have to deal with. And it was not bad if you track just right. So you'll see on the opposite side of the creek, you'll leave the forest, cross the creek, and hopefully see that Karen I'm showing you right now. And then from there, just pop on up, traverse this edge of the ridge on the right. So if you're really working it, you'll have the Cairns. And it is great. They weren't the easiest to follow, but really made it nice. Continues to be somewhat of a trail as well. Well, we're going for a little variation here. Climbers left, really steep kind of avalanche gully. Uh, really stable now. Apparently they've gotten some rain. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I have a feeling it will. This is what we're looking at up there. Wow, I think I'm gonna go right. That looks exciting. Boy. Probably another easy goal to come up. This is really fun. Now, I'm seeing once I traverse into this gully, get on that giant chokestone thing, and then just kind of head up to the right. That little notch. Well, I definitely made it to the notch, and uh, does not look so friendly at all. You've got a pretty sheer face here, and uh, insane gully. So this area behind me is definitely overhanging as well. So that probably isn't gonna happen, but it did put me in a great spot because right across this gully is a very obvious notch and very distinctive with the insane double chokestone balancing act going on right in the middle of the gully. I'm telling you, that is nuts. 
Here's the moment of truth, folks. And I think it's going to be freaking sweet. I still don't really know, but... It looks like an easy passage up here, though. That little sun peeking right over. I'm going to work the zone. Beautiful scene, too. I think I got incredibly lucky. Sneak my way up here. All right, folks, this has been awesome. Uh, I'm definitely not out of the woods yet. Um, so yeah, there's that, but I, I did just come up that deep, dark grotto gully down there, hit that saddle as you saw, really cool. Then came up on this beautiful ridge. I guess I could always escape that way if I had to. To my left is a steep but way manageable gully. If you look really closely, you can see the standard route pretty much going up the fall line of the gully in the grass. And then there we go. We got one giant Glen arm to deal with. I'm going to say that is the core of the adventure zone right there. So we're going to do the dance, see how that goes. And uh, my summit up on the left. Wow, wow, wow. Holy schmoly. That was a thrill. Damn, wow. This is epic. And here we come, baby. Heading for the tooth. Yeah, you gotta have some serious confidence to be trying this. Wowzers. Hell yeah. Really cool. It does appear that you can go to the left of this steep line arm. I chose to climb the face, not necessary. Um, right through there. Here on in the background, that'll be for tomorrow. But for today, we are just gonna polish this off. And obviously, I am not the first person who has ever climbed this route because going by that little cairn right there, boy, there is some loose stuff and it is big. Wow! Ho oh. ho! Wowzers, yes, that is sweet.
think we're pushing the summit right now too. Wow. And it is good. Definitely happy with this scene. Smoke or no, it is beautiful. Check that out. Amazing. Man. You're on for tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know if I'll pull it off, but I still feel like I got some energy, so. I am a little concerned with the weather. We'll watch out for that too. Oh yeah, that looks good. Here's a little Karen for you. Cool little latch here. Not really class three even. So I am definitely willing to bet that this is the Crooks. Party class three for sure. Minimal exposure, lots of handholds, lots of loose rock. Be advised, the adventure zone lives on Ice Mountain. I think we're pushing for a summit here. Ice Mountain, another great summit. It was a fun scramble, a little more loose though even than my adventure scramble. Pretty cool summit though. There's a fellow climber coming from the opposite side. Be interested to hear about his experiences. That'll be cool. But looking at the whole deal, he came up, it appears just to be a big gnarly loose gully down there. It's my guess. Well, I am certainly glad I decided to do that. I was a little tired, haven't been climbing as much since I uh, just had surgery a couple, almost three weeks ago now. But uh, that felt great. Looking back, there is North Apostle. Came down that kind of a light rust colored trail and up the saddle over here. Definitely a little class five movement in there. I think there is one gully to the right that may be easier. I didn't climb it, I don't know. I did look down it, it looked loose like this one, but it might be better. So that really wasn't as far as it looked. I was definitely glad I did Ice Mountain. There is the technical section though, so I would not do it if you're fearing weather at all. Just wet could be a big problem. Uh, you'll definitely descend gullies and if they were running water, that'd be bad. But it was cool. And now it's just time to change gears and giddy up down this saddle. So this descent is probably my least favorite part. Really not terribly, terribly horrible, but there is a lot of loose rubble and dirt sliding over there and so on and so on. So definitely be careful, but I'm pretty sure I'm on the right track or I'm definitely on a track where a lot of other people have been. Oh, we're 
we're getting close now. That's for sure. We'll just cross over those big boulders. Kind of wing a little bit to the right. Time for a little trip report. I definitely enjoyed North Apostle as well as Ice Mountain. Ice Mountain being considerably more technical. Uh, this is definitely way out there backcountry scene. Flower season in mid to late August has just kind of started to fizzle out, but mushroom season apparently is exploding, literally. So both great climbs. One thing I will say though, is you definitely need to be able to climb class three for Ice Mountain. And the upper trail up to Ice Mountain was a little, uh, a little loose. Once you got above tree line and above that moraine, there was some, some kind of loose scrambling you kind of had to do. But other than that, I thought the trips were fantastic to both mountains. Very scenic and beautiful, incredible wild wilderness scene. So we'll see you up here. Bye guys.